morning we're looking ahead to the Elmwood Village Art Festival. Yeah, earlier this year organizers announced a brand new end of summer art festival in the Elmwood Village and this morning Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us with the preview. Hi Lauren, good morning. Hey, good morning guys. Artists on Elmwood party on Bidwell. That is the general idea behind this new festival along the Elmwood Strip this weekend. This is the first time that the Elmwood Village Association is putting on an art festival and they only had a few months to pull it together. It's taking place in place of the Elmwood Festival of the Arts that used to be run by an outside organization and they decided not to continue it this year. The biggest difference you'll notice is that the street won't be shut down. Artists and vendors will line the sidewalks and take over parking lots. Instead, there will also be a kids zone inside and outside of Lafayette Presbyterian Church, as well as a full day of entertainment on a stage set up at Bidwell Parkway. Elmwood Village Association Board President Therese Deutschlander says the goal in the future would be to close the street down, but they just didn't have enough time this year to get the permits and everything needed. So that's why the goal is in future years to definitely close down the street when we'll have an entire year to plan it. But for this year, we had, you know, barely four months to gather all the artists, everything else and work with Bidwell and work with this church to get the kids zone here. So it's been a lot to juggle and the team's done a great job. And as with any new event, there have been some hiccups along the way. At one point, it looked like there wouldn't be compensation for the bands and entertainment at that Bidwell stage. So some of the local businesses, including Jack Rabbit, right across from Bidwell, pitched in to sponsor all of the musical acts performing. And we heard from Jack Rabbit partner Kevin Sampson. He told us the EVA stepped up to save a wonderfully vibrant festival of the arts, and we should all be grateful for that. After the unexpected backlash from many local musicians, we felt we had the resources to help our Elmwood Village community and the incredibly talented and hardworking musicians here in Buffalo. So again, the hope is that in the future with more time to plan, this would grow. There'd be more time to secure those outside sponsorships and the permits needed. But this first time event runs starting at 11 tomorrow and Sunday. One of the highlights, guys, is a hot dog eating contest at 430 in Bidwell Park tomorrow. I said, why involve that in an art festival? And they said, it's Buffalo. It's just something something that reminds us of Buffalo. Some might argue that a hot dog eating contest is an art <laughs> to some of, of its own. <laughs> art is subjective, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Lauren, thank you. Thanks. Lauren, thank